Hey royalty, hey Empress, hey Empresses, how are y'all doing today? This video is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, y'all. First things first, only have one YouTube page and one Instagram page. Don't get scammed. You can only book a personal reading with me using my website, which will be listed down below in the description box. Hope y'all having a beautiful and blessed day, and I pray you are having a beautiful and blessed week. May Father God continue to cover you, bless you, and keep you safe all days, always. And I'm sending you so much peace, love, and healing energy, Leo. Let's begin. Angels, ancestors, spirit guides of the highest white light, please come down and protect me. Please come down and give me clear messages straight from the divine. Archangel Michael, Holy Spirit, please come down and protect me, guide me, and keep me safe. And please come down and protect and guide the viewers that have clicked on this video today. What are the messages today for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node? What does Leo need to know um, in regards to this new moon energy? We just had a new moon in Pisces. So what is what is this new moon going to bring in for Leo? Please and thank you. So the card that fell is you need to hold your vision. Fixed sign energy. What is that? Scorpio, Taurus, Sagittarius, Aquarius energy. I know the six signs. I need to learn the mutable one. <laughs> but yeah, you could have you could be talking to a six sign, or this is something that could be taking place during this time that may shake you up, that may shake your vision. And they're saying, don't let nothing shake your vision, Leo. Don't let nothing take you off track. Don't let nothing like stir up or shake up, you know, your plans, your visions, your goals, what you are working towards. Everything is still going towards. Like everything is still in alignment. Everything is working out for the betterment of you and your highest good. It's just about the steps that you are taking at this time. Literally, you also have your Taurus energy that's here. So your dreams, literally, your dreams need a practical plan. Get, get to planning. Get to writing down. Get to, revi like, rev what is it? Revision, revising of your plans, making sure that things are airtight, making sure that you, I'm hearing, you need to have, like, a schedule. You need a planner. You need like some type of checkup system or check-in system, okay? Like, I, I don't know why I'm seeing that. Like, what is going on with that? What is that? I'm seeing, you know, those clickers that people have? I don't know if it's for two, three, four on the timer. I don't know if it's for like count and change, okay? But it's something about how like throughout your day when you finish out your tasks, you, could, you need to have something where it's like you're able to check off things. You're able to click things off, check things off. You're able to hear that you are like finished up with the next task. Okay. You also could be like really trying to like hone in on like time management and also in regards to like timing yourself or, you know, being mindful of your time. There's something about time as well I'm hearing too. But it's all about your plan and having a strong vision, which is, you know, going to help you achieve it. Yeah, you have your Cancer energy and Scorpio. So you and your loved ones are safe. It doesn't matter what you're taking action on at this time. Even if it has to do with you like laying down law, you having strong boundaries, certain boundaries, or you, you just doing things that are for you at this time to advance you for it because you know it's going to help you. Okay, you're doing something that's for the betterment of you. It doesn't matter what people feel. You and your loved ones are safe. You have divine guidance to do it. Literally, Cancer energy is here. And this is with this new moon energy. You also have your work through your fears. You're also with this new moon energy, new moon in Scorpio, okay? Something has you very fearful or it's like God is going to, you know, light the fire a little bit in regards to certain situations, people, environments to test you to see if you are ready for this next chapter because it has a lot of bountiful blessings in it. But you have to, it's something about evolving, being, you know, more wise, more mature than you once were not reacting, not doing the same things or not, you know, letting the same things disturb your peace that you once would have let, you know, do it in the past or at one point in time. Okay. Whatever you are fearful of at this time, I'm not going to say it's exactly going to happen, but I'm saying you definitely need to work through things that, you know, you, you feel like you cannot achieve or you cannot do, because if you are fearful, how can you be faithful? Okay. It's kind of like you have to have faith, but like, what, what is it? Works without faith is, is, nothing you have to make sure that you also are taking the necessary steps to show god you know you believe 444 on the timer as i said this that you believe that you are obedient god is most definitely going to test you okay i just want you to know to make sure that you are you know rocking with him that you can't be swayed okay so know that too let's jump to the next 
What else does Leo need to know, Holy Spirit? Peace and thank you. What else does? Yeah, you have awareness that's coming in. You are so aware and you are so wise. Like literally people could come to you because you have that book of knowledge. You hold the book of knowledge within you. You're very wise. Okay, you could also be the type of person you may study like numerology. You may know about the Akashic records. You may know about like birth charts. You may know about astrology. You have a lot of like, what is it called? Esoteric knowledge. You have knowledge. You hold wisdom. You hold weight, especially in the spiritual realm. Okay? And it's something about the 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 way that you not only carry yourself, but God knows that he can trust you with this knowledge. He knows that you're not going to use it to try to take over the world for evil or whatever. Five, five, five on the time rise. I said this. God knows who to give, you know, certain things to and who not to. So people be like, oh, why does that person have it? Because their heart is different than yours. And God knows that if you receive what that person has, whether it's wisdom, whether it's that gift that they have, whatever it is, you will not use it in the same way that that person is, which is why you don't have it. Okay, so that could be happening too. People could be questioning why you have certain gifts or why you're so wise or why you're so aware. And it's because you're a teacher. You're meant to teach the masses, men, women, and children. Okay, you could be a teacher. You're also very loyal with this dog energy. You're also getting ready to come in contact with people that are loyal or that are going to want to, like, join you along your path, that are going to want to, like, see how you progress, what you are doing in your life, who you are coming in contact with. People want to watch your story, okay? It's something about that as well. And I definitely see the sun. So, Leo, it's like you're coming out. The sun is coming out through the horizon. This is also this book shining. So it's like whatever you are gifted with at this time, God has gifted you with this. People know that God's touch is on it. Your awareness is, is definitely broadening at this time too. The number one could be significant and the number five, 51, 15 could be significant. January, May could be significant. Someone could be born on the first or on the fifth of any month. Okay, but get ready to reach the masses or do something in your community. Okay, and this is something that you are like, this is in your purpose to do this. This is why you're so aware. Your awareness also comes from the heavens, which is why you saw that universal energy. I, that's why I was picking up on like astronomy. Someone here could really like the planets. Like you know about the degrees or you may know how to read birth charts or you may know like about numerology. You may, you may, you know, study the stars. You may, something like that I'm hearing. What else does Leo need to know? Leo, you have a soulmate that's coming towards you. And this is someone that's going to feel like home to you. Or you're going to feel like home to someone. Yeah. It's all about you staying focused at this time. So, yeah, you're going to have to call a spade a spade. You have people that are going to be acting like they're your soulmates, but you do have a soulmate. So be mindful of who you choose. Okay? Look at look at how the arrow is pointing. Be mindful of which direction you're going towards in regards to this soulmate energy. That's why they want you to stay focused. Okay? This has to do with your home, your security, your stability, firm foundations, relationships in your life. The number 10 can be significant. The number 49, the number 24. January could be significant. June could be significant. April could be significant. Someone could be born on the 13th or on the 6th or on the 1st of any month as well. But your home is secure. Or there is some type of strong foundation that you are building and it has to do with your home life. Okay, you could also be like re beautifying your home, redecorating your home. You could be getting a new home, purchasing a new home, moving. Okay, you could have just moved and you could be like furnishing your home. It's something about your home, your security, your stability. Keep hearing that too. What else does Leo need to know? Holy Spirit, please and thank you. Let's jump to the tarot. What else does Leo need to know? Yeah, it's time for you to be inspired to take action, okay? And you're being guided on a path that's not going to cause you any type of confusion or illusions. Seven of Cups in the reverse. There's no more confusion along this path, okay? Even though you are like a novice, you could be going down a new path or starting on a new project or a new idea and you're new to it. You're new to the game. You're new to it. This is even like a new job for someone here, but it's like, or it has to do with your passions. You could be starting like a new hobby, 
okay, you could just be taking action towards doing something that is like, it brings happiness to your inner child. You could be doing youthful activities at this time, or, you know, you are just, you're, you're becoming more active. You're being inspired to become more active with this page of wands, but there's no more like confusion. There's no more illusions. There's no more. Yeah, Leo. It's like, you're over that. Something really like you could have taken your time as well in regards to the things that you want to go towards. And I see you having the power to do so now. This is also you having the courage, the willpower, the strength, the confidence. You also have to learn things about self-discipline or self-control. I'm seeing that here too. And that could have taken some time. What's this page of wands? Okay, you have the chariot in the reverse. What's the chariot about? You know, you could have you could have also been inspired to take action towards a cancer, okay, or an Aquarius. I'm seeing that here too. But it was like something was completely stopped, out of whack, out of alignment with the chariot and the reverse something. You could have been wanting to transform a situation with the star, or you could have been praying or really hopeful about something moving forward the way you wanted it to. This could be with a cancer, but it's it's not meant. What's this what's the chariot? It's not meant, like literally, being honest. Y'all may not want to hear it, but it's the truth. It's the source. Somebody is reckless, they're careless, they'll take you down the wrong path. Yeah, you're avoiding a tower. God is trying to stop you from avoiding like a disaster in your life from taking place. They want you to start new. Focus on new connections, focus on planting new seeds, okay? Focus on being in your divine energy, that King of Wands energy, your natural, confident, attractive, go-getter type of energy, okay? Literally, because someone here, whoever you were dealing with, with this Ace of Swords in the Chariot, they were going to drive you to, like, a place that of, of, no, of, of no coming back. The Chariot in the reverse is reckless behavior, no positive forward movement, no growth. This could even signify a car accident. So be mindful of driving very quickly. Okay, be mindful of whose car you're getting into. Someone here, you could have been stopped. Like God could have saved you in regards to like, you could have been like, yo, let me get a ride or let me use your car. And something could have happened where you weren't able to do it and you could have gotten upset, but you did not, you're not realizing that God was saving your life in that situation. Like that's for someone here, one, two, three, on a timer, as I was saying this, I'm just, I'm, I'm hearing a lot. God stopped something very traumatic from happening to you, Leo, okay? Yeah, and it's because you have a lot of blessings over your life. You're meant to live a very blessed, a bl blessed, abundant, beautiful, enriching, peaceful life, okay? Literally, this is like a part of like your lineage. The Ten of Pentacles to the Justice is because you have so many divine blessings that's meant to come in during this time. God is like, listen, I don't want you to mess it up. And I don't want you to keep going down the path or to be connecting to someone that it could literally cause a lot of damage to you. Control yourself. Strength card. Tame yourself. Know who you're giving your energy to. What's the strength card about? 1331 could be significant. 333 could be significant. Yeah. And it could have you stressed out. But things were happening the way that it's supposed to with the Wheel of Fortune. Scorpio, Taurus, Sagittarius, Aquarius energy. Something is meant to happen. This way, I see you really stressed or I see somebody so stressed out about this. Like somebody here is in a state of paranoia and depression. The nine of swords and the eight of swords, this is not only overthinking and making something bigger than it is, but the nine of swords, is a, it's affecting your health. It's affecting your sleep. Somebody here could be waking up in the middle of the night, not being able to get much sleep, could be having a hard time working. What's this nine of swords and eight of swords? Somebody here also realizes that you're going to be living a certain type of life and that's your karma. Or someone here could be also going through legal matters with the justice card. What is the nine of swords and the eight of swords? And they know like it's, it's not going to work in their favor. Yeah, somebody here was very shady. What's the eight of swords and the, the nine of swords about? You blocking someone, 77 is here. Eight, eight is here as well. Eight, eight, eight is here. You have the eight of cups, the eight of, eight of swords. In the wow, you have eight 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 that's here and seven 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 that's here. You could be seeing those angel numbers. 
You have 888. It's time for you to walk away. If this could be something, something that's stressful for you, or this could be causing stress to someone, but this is going to strengthen you in more ways than you know. Okay, this is also having to do with the wealth that's meant to come in during this time because it's already here. 888. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, the strength card. <laughs> 888. It's time to walk away, Scorpionic energy. This could be causing stress to someone. I see it, but this is going to make you stronger. This is going to tap you into your courage, your strength, that willpower. This is going to give you that. If you're going to feel the force of like God over your life, literally. And then you have the chariot here with the seven of wands and the seven of pentacles. Seven, seven, seven is here. Okay, so you could have been very patient, but it's something about you standing your ground now. Something is being completely stopped. You're being stopped in your tracks or God is completely stopping you from moving forward towards something with the chariot wanting to come out in the reverse. 777, seven, seven. someone was trying to align themselves to you and this was not someone that you are aligned with. Okay, 777 seven, seven is all about divine alignment. You getting on your divine path. You're going towards your spiritual journey. You're going towards your mission, your calling. Okay, this, that's like God's number. That's like jackpot energy as well. So you have two jackpot numbers, two very lucky and blessed numbers. 87 could be significant. 78, somebody could be born in July or in August. But you have 888 and 777 that's here. So get ready for a lot of divine changes around love, around money, around your security, around your divinity, okay, around your connection with up above. This is meant to change. This is meant to evolve. This is meant to grow. It's like there, there's major life changes that's happening. This also has to do with family, with the Ten of Pentacles. You could be getting ready to become the first millionaire or billionaire in your family or the first business owner where it's like your business is going to take off. It's going to skyrocket. The Eight of Cups, it calls for you to sacrifice and to leave something alone or to walk away from something that you invested a lot of time and energy into, but it no longer serves you. You have the Seven of Cups. There's no more illusions here. Another seven, 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 seven could be significant as well. Okay. Take action, Leo. Because what you don't see is you're about to hit your, literally, it's some type of come up that you were on at this time that's meant to happen right now. With the King of Pentacles, you taking this action is going to bring in so much financial wealth to you. You could be solidifying something, closing a deal on something, or locking yourself into a contract that is like you're meant to do. You're meant to sign some type of contract, or you're meant to like start some type of like that you go towards some type of opportunity that has to do with your money, your resources, your finances. The King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. Leo, stop playing with me. So you are a wife or a husband, or you embarking on this path is going to lead you towards your partner. And y'all are both going to be financially blessed, wealthy, or be able to create this divine lineage that's meant for you. This is meant for you. This was already written to happen for you. Okay, so let's, you can have earth in your birth chart, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, but there is someone that's stressed, or you could be stressed that you have to leave things behind that you didn't, you know, or situations or people that you may not have wanted to move away from, but it's meant to. You're meant to. Anything else that Leo needs to know? An air sign could be significant. A Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Be mindful of this person. This is someone that is envious and dangerous. You also have clarity that's getting ready to come towards you. Anything else that Leo needs to know? Okay, 111 is here. You are attracting in love, peace, money, abundance, and blessings into your life. So get ready for that. This could be happening. Something could be happening on Friday. Or on Friday, your spirit guides are going to step in. Okay, the... Letter W could be significant, first, middle, or last initial, yours or theirs. Somebody is mad. I'm also seeing that you expect communication in a few hours. Somebody here wants to sleep with you. They want to do sex magic on you. They want to hook up with you. They want to put you underneath their energy to make you like be able to do what they say or to be more welcome into them in regards to manipulating you, lying to you, using you, abusing you, whatever. But this person feels like they are able to do it when they get your sexual energy or when you let's submit to them sexually give your body this could be someone that's also getting ready to face some type of jail time i see that here too okay leo you have this happy home that's coming they don't want you to be too quick to react at all understand that you are god's warrior there's also a capricorn that could be experiencing some type of losses homelessness no money no love job loss and um no faith i'm seeing here you are the one that someone knows that they were about to lose you for good, you. Someone here knows this, the letter P could be significant as well. This person is mad because you're going towards your destiny. 
You also have people in your family that are fake, that don't like what you're doing or don't like how you're succeeding. This could be an earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn that you could be on different pages with. So be mindful of that, a family member, fake family members. Yeah, your angels and your ancestors, they are pissed off about what's going on with you. You also have to, yeah, because somebody was doing some type of love spells to make you put your guard down. Okay, and it's because you are a star, you could be in the public eye, you could gain a lot of recognition, you could be an inspiration, you could be well known, or you're having this level up. Something could also be happening today on Wednesday. You also have divine, spiritual, angelic, and ancestral protection around you. 444 could be significant, and you are this empress. Someone here also could be hiding a pregnancy from you. This could be, you could also be getting ready to meet your emperor, or you could have felt like somebody was your emperor. This could be someone that's hiding a pregnancy from you. But I'm seeing here your ancestors and your angels are all around you, or you could be getting ready to meet your person. Okay, but there are some type of secrets that could be coming out about a pregnancy first. Because the emperor and the empress are counterparts. Okay, yeah. Someone's going to have a fall from grace. And this could be happening in the springtime. It could be a narcissist that's going to watch you receive good karma. Okay. That narcissist could be also getting ready to go to jail. Be mindful because someone here could have also been like teaming up with fake family members to get insight on you or to try to learn your weaknesses. So I'm hearing that too. Yeah, something was a group effort. You also have it, the letter N could be significant. Anything else that Leo needs to know? Sun will rise in Venus and North Moon. Anything else that Leo needs to know? Yeah, Leo, somebody is on straight BS right now. This could be someone that you experienced a really bad ending with. Okay, yeah, everything backfired on someone, child. This could be on a Taurus, okay, that could have thought cheating was a choice, but it's not. Okay, cheating is a, I mean, someone here could have thought cheating was a mistake, but it's not. It's a choice. So this Taurus could be, re like, reaping their karma. Yeah, you have big blessings that are getting ready to come towards you. I'm also seeing here, yeah, you have your dream home that's coming in, and you may meet your match when you move, okay? Literally, God is testing you right now. The universe is testing you, okay? You also have family brawl and conflict that could be taking place. Because somebody here thought that you were going to be a maid, or you were going to take care of people, okay? Like, literally, like, bow down, be a doormat to people. It's crazy, okay? I'm also seeing here, yeah, you have blessings on the way. And you're going to be meeting someone that is going to be genuinely in love with you. You could be an influencer or this person could be an influencer. And, the, and people are going to be like, since when did this happen? Since when did Leo have this? Since when? Since when? Since when? Burn sage too. All right, y'all. I hope this resonated with you. Oh, no. Let's do the, um, the signs. Who does Leo need to stay away from? Just about to forget. <laughs> Who does Leo need to stay away from? The Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Who does Leo need to stay away from? Gemini. The Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Oh, a fire sign. Uranus is here. Cancer is here. Fire. Mars. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius with that air energy at the bottom of the deck. Pisces. Gemini. Anyone else? And a Capricorn. Aquarius and Cancer. All right. And who is this new love that's coming in for Leo? Who's the new love interest? Holy Spirit. Aquarius. Could be a Gemini. Uranus is here. Could be a Cancer. Who's the new love interest? Could definitely be a cancer. Could be a Virgo. Gemini. Jupiter. Sagittarius. Libra. I hope this resonated with y'all. May peace and blessings be to you always. And I'll be seeing you on the next video.